Okay, rear for elevated jump squats. Okay, so we'll get this plane, we'll get it going over. Okay, with this, I don't mind. Obviously, we just need a little platform to start with. I don't mind if you want to just go dorsiflexion, so toes down. Um, if you want to make sure it's there, um, it's up to you. If you want to promote dorsi and you think you have tight calves or that kind of thing, then go the other way. If you think you're okay, then go this way, okay? That is totally preference to what you have available. I'm just using a hip thrust pad because uh, it was there. Um, and then we're going 90 90 position here hip extended and we are going for a rear for elevate Okay, but as I said on the notes, we're trying to get that knee up super high when I'm jumping I'm gonna go super high through it and we're getting that up Okay, so a few of those reps probably weren't as high as I needed it But we're gonna focus on that first one. I'm trying to get that up through okay so you can see my hands are coming through and we're really pushing off that back leg as well you can see i'm actually accelerating through that side okay so try and just get up replicate reactive force we're trying to decelerate and explode up every single time cool okay band assisted jump okay so these are just going to be normal jumps we also have a split jump okay split jump will be with uh both legs tapping either side this is just going to be a band assisted version okay so choose whichever one you want to do um either or okay so this is just going to show you going band assisted and getting you vertical okay so ideally we use that kind of band you can see you're going to get yourself into it through and attach it underneath your armpits so it's kind of you can fall back into it essentially you can see that's where i am okay so it keeps you a little bit pinned you're able to keep a grapple hold and pulling that nice and tight if we need to because you're going to pull yourself through you could probably use a bigger band okay i was just a bit concerned i'm going to put my head through the ceiling here okay so all we're trying to do is we're actually going to gain more height than we've ever had before we're thinking about going really 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 high okay and we're having to counteract those decelerative forces that we're not normally having from that height okay so because without a band we're not going to normally have that amount of force going through our lower limbs okay so we're having to control that and go all the way through it again cool so get nice and high and these are reactive okay so i want them to be all paired together go from the same position as your counter movement but we're obviously unloaded we're not at body weight because that band is taken a little bit away from us Cool, have fun with it. Do a couple of reps a little bit smaller and then build up to getting big. Okay, we're gonna go through our trap bar jumps right here, okay? So you've got the data obviously from metric, which is happening on this side. We don't need this on variance, it's not really too much. Okay, we're looking for peak velocity um, and I just put this next to each other, okay? So you can see um, it about 30%, give or take of uh, what my loading would be for one RM. And I'm putting as much effort into getting up as we can. Okay, so up, bang. Okay, we're treating this as just like we would do some sort of non counter movement jump. I'm loading and exploding. Okay, guys, beautiful. 